Hey there guys, it's Rick Yusser here with Urban Web, and this is our last episode of Going Ballistic 2020, and I really think we saved the best for last. So before we jump right into it, I want to say thank you to our sponsors of this season. We had ATN Optics, we had Clear Ballistics, and of course the big sponsor is H&M Pellets. These guys make lethal, accurate pellets, that's what they do, and they have them in all kinds of calibers, 177, 22, 25. I think they got some 35s out there too, guys. They have a ton of stuff out there for your air gun, for you to get the most out of it, both for killing power and for accuracy. So when you're looking for something with your air gun, definitely take a look at H&M Pellets because they've got something that's gonna work for you. Now, let's jump into this. This is the Sumatra 2500. I've had this gun for a long time. It is just the sledgehammer of 22 calibers. Variable power. I just crank it up on a test like this. We're looking for max power. We're not going to finesse anything. We just want to hit something as hard as we possibly can. That's what this gun does. In 22 caliber, this thing was the most powerful gun we had, even over the 25s. That's really saying something. What's also really important is it does this with some really good accuracy. Now, I tested the Barracuda Hunter Streams, I tested the Hornets, and I tested the Slugs, and they all shot basically one whole group. So I don't know what else you want. This thing is just a beast, period. Plain and simple, it's a beast. A lot of air on tap, six shot, rotary magazine, lever action. This thing is designed to go out and hunt. It does that really, really well. Now let's look at what we did to the gel. Now I could have run the Barracuda Hunter Extremes, but we've already used those twice and it shot the Hornets so well, I thought I'd switch over to the Hornets. Let's talk about what we're getting for velocity there. The numbers here, I'm getting 1,207 feet per second. That equates to 51.77 foot-pounds. That is just slamming. That's why I love this gun. It just produces a ton of power. When it hits the gel, you can see what that Hornet does. It just, boom, big, huge wound channel, dumps all the energy. In fact, you had almost immediate separation of the little metal end. And unlike some of the others that we saw with the Hornets where they kind of flattened out, this one actually curved back. So not only did it just go in, it was just hit so hard, the lead just curved back again. It was pretty amazing. We'll show you what that looks like. Because again, this year we pulled the pellets out of the gel so you could see it. Now let's switch over to the slug. Now we shot the slugs on the other two 22s and we had pass through, not with this. This thing is shooting them so fast, 27 grains. We're looking at 1,029 feet per second. That's 63 and a half foot pounds. So the slugs, 63 and a half foot pounds, basically shooting like dime groups. So you have accuracy and extreme power. Now the cool thing with the slugs, at that velocity, they're gonna retain energy for a very long time. They're not like a pellet that has a skirt that's bleeding, you know, it's got resistance, it's bleeding velocity off of it. They're designed to shoot very far with great stability, great energy retention. That's what these things are designed to do. And when you're up over that thousand foot per second, that's when we're seeing the serious mushroom happen. Now, when you look at this slug, you can see it just is just flat right out. It just went from the hollow point to perfectly flat. And that's why it stayed in the block. It dumped all the energy because it had that velocity to really just deliver what you want. So when you're looking for the slugs, if you're looking for lethality, you probably want to be between 900 and 1,000 feet per second to really get the expansion. If you're looking for just straight accuracy, well, you're going to get that even lower power because they were super accurate even at like under 700 feet per second. They were just super accurate. So you have some options there. For pure accuracy, they just shot really well. But if you want that expansion with the slugs, look for something that's going to get you that velocity in the 900 to 1,000 feet per second. And then you'd probably be pretty doggone impressed with what they'll deliver. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. This is the Sumatra 2500, 22 caliber. In my opinion, it's the king of the series. This has been a lot of fun to pull this together. Going ballistic is one of my kind of favorite things to do every year. And we'll see if we do it next year. We've got some ideas already percolating of things we can do to kind of take it to the next level in our testing. So if you guys got some ideas, shoot us some comments and let us know what you think. I really like doing it. We'll see if we'll come back and do it again next year. For now, this is Rick Yutzer here with Airgun Web. Thanks for watching.